All right, knee tuck to V up progressions. So when in doubt, start with an easier one, build a base, work your way up. A couple key things on this one, I'm actually keeping my back fairly flat and I'm hinging up. So I'm not gonna get a lot of rounding through the spine. Nothing wrong with that, but just not doing that in this instance. So first up, the knee tuck. Another key thing to make this easier in your lower back is to let your feet stay together, let your knees go wide. It's just much easier. Trying to bring all this stuff in here really can make that lower back kind of angry. So from here, just that knee tuck. Also, you want to bring your chest up first and let the legs follow. You, you notice that I can use my arms as a little bit of a counterbalance or a little bit of an assist. Once you have a good command of that, then you can advance this. Or you come up, extend, I'm touching down for a little bit of balance here, lower down. Knee tuck, extend that out there, control down. A little more challenge, up, extend, but then longer lever on the way out here. By reaching the arms up overhead, boom, boom, and then once you get the hang of that, then it might be time to do a regular V up, but again, bring your chest up first, let the legs follow, otherwise they'll stop you. So from here, I need a little help, that's fine. And then control that down, one more like that. And you can also have some fun with this, doing it in a deficit. That's simply where you can extend the range of motion and any of these iterations. So I'll show you first with the tuck, extend, and then I work against this on the way down, one more like that, tuck, extend, and then to further advance that, obviously, we've got this guy here. So those are a few knee tuck and V up progressions.